Good day, everyone, and welcome to today's workshop on human experience testing. Thank you for joining us. Today, we'll be diving into a holistic testing approach that goes far beyond traditional UX and usability testing. It focuses not only on how users interact with digital products, but also on their physical and emotional experiences. This is a crucial topic for anyone aiming to enhance their products or services um, to meet user expectations and deliver seamless, meaningful experiences. Our agenda for today is as follows. We'll begin with an introduction to human experience testing to explain what it is and why it matters. Next, we'll look at how HX testing is actually performed in practice. Finally, we will discuss how to write effective HX feedback that can provide real value to development and product teams. Let's start with the basics. What is human experience testing, also known as HX? This approach evaluates user interactions holistically, covering physical, digital, and emotional aspects. Unlike traditional usability testing, which focuses on whether a user can complete a task, HX asks deeper questions such as, how does the user feel throughout their journey? Are there moments of delight or frustration that impact the overall experience? The purpose of HX testing is to evaluate user needs across all touch points, whether they're physical, digital, or experiential. Identify pain points and opportunities for improvement in interactions. Measure emotional responses like um, frustration or satisfaction to elevate user experience and ensure the product or service not only works but creates meaningful connections with users. To better understand HX testing, let's look at its key concepts. First, touch points. These include digital touch points such as software usability, um, online support systems, and payment processes. Physical touch points like IoT devices or physical environments such as buildings. And experiential touch points like customer service or event experiences. Second, user journeys. HX testing maps out the entire series of steps a user takes to interact with a product or service from start to finish. Finally, emotional impact. HX testing pays close attention to how users feel during their interactions. For example, if users feel overwhelmed by too many options in an app, HX can suggest simplifying the interface to create a more positive emotional response. You might be wondering, is HX testing the same as UX and usability testing? The short answer is no. While these approaches are connected, they each focus on different aspects of user experience. Usability testing focuses on efficiency and ease of task completion. Can users figure out how to log in without assistance? Do they get stuck? UX testing evaluates the overall user experience, including satisfaction and engagement. Do users enjoy using the app? HX testing takes an even broader approach, assessing physical, digital, and, and uh, emotional factors together. Think of it like a coffee shop journey, from creating an account, placing an order, picking it up, and receiving post-purchase updates. HX looks at how smooth, intuitive, and emotionally satisfying that uh, entire process is. Now let's explore how HX testing is performed in practice. Preparation is key. First, understand the scope. Um, define what you're testing. Is it a physical product, a digital interface, or both? Identify the relevant touch points and map the user journey steps. Review test instructions carefully so you don't miss any critical scenarios. Gather necessary equipment like devices, notebooks, screenshot or video tools and ensure your infrastructure such as internet or transportation is ready. When performing HX testing, it's important to follow the user journey completely as if you were a real user. Evaluate touch points in detail, physical, digital and emotional. Track how long each step takes and collect evidence like screenshots, videos, receipts, and the notes you take. While performing HX testing, there are common mistakes to avoid.
skipping instructions or test scenarios, focusing only on digital aspects and ignoring physical or emotional touch points, inconsistent documentation or testing in unrealistic conditions. Ethical considerations are equally important. Protect privacy and sensitive data. Provide objective feedback and avoid bias. Consider diverse perspectives and don't overgeneralize your observations. Remember, HX testing requires completing the entire user journey to get a full picture. Finally, let's discuss how to write effective HX feedback. HX feedback differs from UX feedback. While UX feedback focuses on usability and digital interfaces, HX feedback is holistic. It evaluates physical, digital, um, and emotional touch points um, together. There's also a shift in mindset. Critical feedback is often more valuable than positive feedback. Highlighting pain points and, and frustrations helps teams drive meaningful improvements, while positive feedback simply confirms what's already working. Here are some key principles for writing effective HX feedback. Be specific. Instead of saying, the app is slow, say, the app took 12 seconds to load the homepage, which made me question if it was functioning properly. Include um, emotional responses. For example, um, I was satisfied with the overall uh, checkout experience at the store and it met my expectations mostly. However, the line to pay was a bit confusing and caused some frustration. I couldn't tell where the line started or who was next, so I had to ask other customers to figure out when it was my turn. Avoid vague statements. Replace it works fine with the navigation bar is intuitive, but the search function returned irrelevant results. Practice critical thinking. Note your internal reactions and inefficiencies during testing. To structure effective HX feedback, first describe the issue. For example, the payment confirmation screen took uh, 15 seconds to load. Second, explain the impact. This caused frustration and uncertainty about whether my payment was successful. Third, provide evidence, attach screenshots or videos of the issue. Fourth, offer suggestions for improvement, like optimize the payment confirmation screen to load faster. And remember, feedback is anonymous, so be honest and constructive. To conclude, human experience testing allows us to see the full picture of how users interact with products and services, from practical functionality to emotional engagement. By applying these principles, we can help create experiences that are not just functional, but truly meaningful. Thank you for your attention.